So, in... <sighs> Yes, I actually got a promo poster for that when I was at New York Comic Con. It's probably the last of actual swag I'm going to be using for the rest of this month. So that being said, John, what the hell are you doing? <sighs> well, since we're doing mommy reviews, finally, we have a Benny hand. Okay, wait. Cole doesn't count. Oh, I totally do count. We are totally going to be talking about, I don't know, returns and all that other stuff. And uh, 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 Fraser songs or uh, Brendan songs. Yes, long story short. Hey, everybody, this is Retro and... Oh, God. Oh, God, what? Uh, John, uh, I'm going to be honest here. Uh, you ever thought of uh, that uh, Chainsaw, Chainsaw Man opening that I was going to totally get you and John to do? Okay, under whose orders? Uh, you know, the usual suspects and uh, Continental. Wait, seriously? They, they, it was a commission? A, a little bit, but... Uh, oh, God, what is that? <sighs> Fine. I guess we're rushing on to it. A little bit, yeah. So, I was going to be here in case... Uh, Wait, you had your armor on standby. Well, I mean, kind of, sort of. Dark <sighs> Okay, I'm going to be honest, that's pretty baller. Yeah, that's pretty badass, dude. Okay, I live with critics. Says you. Regular yeah. <clears throat> voice, I'm not saying. What the fuck did you just do? I just put myself in a regular voice. And thanks for the TOS. Okay, yeah, so long story short, before we get to... What is undoubtedly the most mid or worst DCU movie, depending on who you are. Uh, by the way, go to Patrick H. Spoiler Limits. He just did an hour-long discussion that Snyder's okay. He's not the best, but he's no Michael Bay as far as his problematic stuff goes. I'm, again, more on that on the actual video essay. I'm more for it. I'll probably be in the comments later down the road when it comes to the rest of this weekend goes. Yes, and why are we doing, oh, God help us, the freaking Scorpion King. Oh, don't tell me it's one of those rare movies you can actually do from memory. Well, oh my god, it's one of those rare movies in the freaking Mummy franchise you can actually do from memory. I mean, it was on TV a lot when I was a kid, especially on USA's, now Peacock, so... I mean, it kind of made some sense to do it. <sighs> Fine, whatever. Let me guess, Memnom, something about arrows and shit. Yeah, long story, and to say... Where this is going to be the only version of the Scorpion King franchise. Oh god, there were more? Yeah, about that. They made a lot of movies. One of them with a Time Force Ranger. From what I totally didn't at all Wikipedia search and totally remember from memory just like uh, Retro. Uh, <clears throat> uh, yeah, t t totally. Yeah, okay, yeah, long story short, one of them was in the Scorpion King franchise. And so was, I think, uh, either Chuck Liddell or some MMA guy. You were going to say Roger Goodell, would you? Okay, not everything's a football reference. Oh! <laughs> you mean, uh... Okay, look, we could be here all day with basics and how you basically aren't a huge sports ball, even the, oh, across the pond. I'm not saying Ted Lasso finally got me into it. I'm just saying it. It's just... It's a is very, um... Infectious with his, uh, with his southern accent. Dude, it's like Midwest at best. No, it isn't. Yeah, it is. Who's the American here? Okay, good point. All right, so, yes, this is basically coming off of, yeah, that. The actual Scorpion King himself was in the, hang on, what is it? Uh, Mummy Returns, and honestly, if it's a direct sequel you're looking for in this particular case, well, yes and no, if we had time to review them, Retro. Oh, well, well it says the guy who didn't want to do the Tom Cruise remake. Wait, you were going to do the Tom Cruise remake? Yes! No, I mean, kind of. Sorta. Of. Alright, so as an uh, outsider looking in... Okay, we are not giving you that much power, Cole. Oh, come on! I, I'm... Okay, so there's like a psychic -y character, right? So basically there was one in Scorpion King? I mean, kinda. He was a character actor since True Lies. Last time I talked to him, I need to be at the cast down below. Yes, and he was really weird about camels. It was all just weirdly timed. So why is that picture of him with Michael Clock Duncan? Um, I don't know, they were probably cool on set, and I think one of the rare things uh, Mr. Sunday Movies talked about when they talked about their uh, review for this is that, turns out the uh, sword break that, that was in all the trailers and this fight scene, uh, turns out was a little real. Oh, they broke prop souls on set, huh, fantastic. Did they actually kill each other? Dude, it's Michael Clark turn. rest in peace and respects, dude. Oh, shit, sorry. Yeah, dude, I mean, we're talking Kingpin here from 2003's Daredevil, cartoon, by the way. We are not referencing D Daredevil in this house! Unless it's MCU getting smashed by... Okay, so you do remember your MCU origins. I mean, I'm an Amalgam character, technically. But is he? I never really figured out that version wise was multiversal magics, but yeah, kind of, sort of, I think. Seriously, him. Yeah, yeah, him. Okay, look, long story short, it's 
an okay movie. Look, as far as the sequels go for those directed videos, like I said earlier in the last couple of videos, um, to put it bluntly, it's got the same production quality as the Rob Zombie Monsters movie, but with a even shorter budget and with 2000s, we want to be like Buffy slash Xena level production uh, territory. So go with that if you're going to go there. Also, I really need to forget, you need to remember how many MMA guys. Also, I think Lou Fringle was in the last one in those directed video movies. Seriously? The, the original Hulk. Yes, the original Hulk. Okay, why is this not a Marvel video and us just helping out? You want to tell them we're shy? Oh, well, hi. From what I heard from Retro's hinge group text, yes, that's a thing, uh, turns out Gotham Knights is not going so hot, and Jason and the entire Bat family are restraining Jason and Damien because of uh, reasons and something, something, maybe a DLC down the road. Wait, seriously? No, I'm just joking. So, with that being said, is there another reason why I'm probably going to be here for Black Atom come Monday when you review this. Yeah, Dr. Fate. Oh, God damn it, the order of fate! Fine. Final thoughts, since this is a retro review from memory. Can you believe we're doing that? Yeah, uh, more details, like I said, will be in everyone else's reviews. My personal, like I said, go to, obviously, uh, Mr. Sunday Movies. And with that being said, um, if I had to review it at the time, childhood me would have said, I don't know, 5 out of 5 if this was a Red Hood scale. Me, personally, eh, it's okay. It's a lot of extra steps that the series and the director of DVD movies will never explain to how he turns into a CGI mess. Oh, and quick recommendation. Um, I highly recommend going to Corridor Digital because they did a breakdown of this and a lot of the Mummy movies. Because turns out one of their own uh, creators are actually the son of one of the VFX guys that were helping out those movies at the time. Oh, wait, seriously? Yeah, it's actually pretty cool. Um, I think, um, I don't know if Mark Summers or uh, yeah, the original... Uh, uh, director ever showed up to explain most of the VFX and what they were doing for both practicality for this and pretty much the whole mummy du duology. I know we're, we 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 skipped on um the Jet Li th uh, third movie. Oh my god, you forgot the name the, the tomb right? Uh, uh, tomb drag. Okay, this th th you guys get mush mouthy. Like you guys gotta wear more mask more often. It just it's like clears you up. It just helps you anxiety and stuff like that. Not now. Okay, whatever. Should you see? Well, obviously, see returns before uh, Scorpion King. Yeah, obviously. I mean, if you're looking for like a, I guess PG like Conan, um, barbarian kind of rip off movie for kids, it was pretty bloodless, and my dad never really had a problem with it when we were watching it when I was a kid. So I don't know. Uh, your models may vary with current generations and stuff like that. Um, there wasn't really two crazy jokes that went over my head that I think is probably problematic, since we're going to put it in the present tense contents. Also, it's always nice to see Michael Clark Duncan, even knowing what happened to him later in life. That being said, um. Yeah, that's it. That's my whole thoughts of the Scorpion King. And more importantly, what everyone's been saying lately, and if you saw um, Fiona's Cream Team stream, yeah, it was they showed off one of their last, um, I guess, uh, skits they were doing before they got kicked off of G4. Yeah, that's a long story to short there to the final cards. Um, is it going to be compared to Black Adam coming this weekend? Uh, most likely, and Thursday performance is not really showing so hot. However, I'm still going to show regardless because, again, review duties and... I don't know, Snyder fans are just getting weirder by the day, explaining that now Cavill can't be a thing without Snyder. It's, it was all weird. Yeah, do I got to do reconnaissance? No, dear God, no. And with that being said, arguing with Cole of your side, go to the end cards with him being confused as usual. Oh, come on, like, my lore is not that bad. To see the shorts play this, because I believe Retro is going to be doing yet another uh, critical Role uh, shorts pretty soon uh, this coming Tuesday. Yes, that Halloween episode was... Pretty wild, wasn't it? Uh, very much so. And yeah, go to me here, uh, trying not to do m Wednesday spoilers early, to basically uh, see the previous video, which was basically uh, talking about Halloween ends, speaking of Halloween-related movies. And uh, go to John here, uh, totally not getting triggered that uh, the Order of Fame contacted me first. Wait, what? Yeah, to sub to the channel and go to the notification bell down below. Comment this video if you want to see more sporadic intakes like this, and if there is really too much of me, because honestly, I don't think there is. And with that all being said, I am the real enough Constantine. Is it Constantine? Constantine! <clears throat> and Retro Kid of Retro Kid Reviews and his Hellspawn armor. Oh, so you're going to play me out? Yes, I am. And uh, take care and subscribe. Seriously, I'll play you out if you're going to cover me. Uh, I'll cover you too. You guys really get, like, awkward when you fight. Are you guys, like, like, chill each other? No, we're not. Oh, come on.